you guys are just going to have a conversation directly with Dave and ignore the cameras. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, what does it mean to be Italian? Italian means to be full of life. It means to love life, to love people, to enjoy eating. It means to talk with your hands. It means it means taking time to get to know somebody. It, it means to be a part of a family. It's more about the importance of relationship. It's more about the importance of caring about the person that you've just spent the last two or three hours with and not wanting that to end. Are your kids American or Italian? <laughs> they are not totally American and they're not totally Italian. They're a mixture of both of them. English is different their first language, but Italian is different their first culture. Cavallo, fatto di legno. Benissimo. They go to Italian schools. Their friends are Italian. They, they attend church in Italian. They go play in Italian. They go to swim class in Italian. Um, our neighbors, all Italian. And so they know how to, you know, be Italian in our Italian world. I think it's very important as uh, missionaries, as international workers, that we become part of the culture. We'll never truly be Italian, and that we'll never be Italian. We understand that. But it's important for us to engage and be a part of the culture. You know, we're there to love the people of Italy, and we can't love the people of Italy if we don't know the people of Italy. Why are you in Italy? We're in Italy because we love people. It's not just a calling to be there, it's truly, we feel passionate about being there, about seeing them become Christ, about developing relationships, about being an incarnational witness in a place that really needs uh, to know Christ in a living way. One of the, the key hallmarks of the ministry is utilizing different avenues to multiply ourselves, uh, whether it be state conventions, churches, or college students, and every summer we host about anywhere from 10 to 15, sometimes even 20 college students, and we're placing them in cities all around us. And these college students, by spending six or eight weeks there, working alongside interning these local churches, are able to share the gospel a thousand or more times. And it's getting the gospel a lot further, a lot faster, and more impactful than we ever could. What keeps you here? What keeps me here? Um, it's people like Federico who we helped him plant a church a few years ago, and now he's working on a second church in a place called Spoleto. Or Ilaria, who, who is seeking, who, who wants to know more about Jesus. I feel like Marco, so walked into a pizzeria and prayed over a meal, and him and the waiters asked me, are you a believer? I said, yeah. He says, well, I am too, and encouraged them as they're part of their local church. It's about Paula, who is a fellow believer who mm. just lost her husband, who's who's struggling and, and, and needs walking beside. It's like Fabio, the owner of the gelateria that we mm. like to go to. Yeah, he's, he's crazy. He's, he's, he's crazy. <laughs> who's always so happy to see us when we come in. It's about Patrizia, who, who really wants to seek the Lord, but is still so enrooted with her policies and traditions. And it's, it's for Marisa, who is undergoing mm. cancer treatments, but knows that, that we pray for her daily. It's about the people. It's about caring enough about the people that we want them to know Jesus.